Hello, the story I'm going to read you today is called Clara Caterpillar. It is by Pamela Duncan Edwards and it is illustrated by Henry Cole. You might notice, look, Clara starts with C and so does Caterpillar. This book has lots of C words. So let's see if you can hear them all. One day, a cream-colored butterfly laid an egg on a cabbage leaf. Grow up to be courageous and contented, Clara, she called to her egg as the wind carried her away. Do you see that little tiny butterfly egg right there? Clean is like a little bit white, but kind of like yellowy whitish. Clara lay curled in the egg case for a considerable time. Eventually, a crowd of caterpillars clustered around her. She's incredibly late coming out, commented one. She's very cautious, agreed another one. A curious caterpillar knocked on Clara's egg. Mrs. Cornelius, he said, come on out. But I'm comfortable in here, called Clara. Look at all these different caterpillars. And they all look different too. And look, that must be Clara. And there's Cornelius. Who cares if she comes out scoffed a scowling caterpillar called Katusha? It's clear she'll only be a cabbage caterpillar. Cabbage caterpillars are so common. Don't be cruel, Katisha, Cornelius scolded. Cabbage caterpillars are cute. Is Katisha being very kind? Did you say cabbage? cried Clara. Cabbage sounds scrumptious. So Clara cut a hole in her egg case and clambered out. I'm a lucky caterpillar, she said. Cornelius, come and share this delectable cabbage. Look, Clara came out and now she's eating cabbage. Caterpillars have to eat a lot to grow so they can turn into butterflies. Clara and Cornelius climbed and crawled and capered about. They had carefree caterpillar fun. They crammed themselves with cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower leaves. They're eating all the leaves that they can get. They grew into colossal caterpillars. Then one day, Cornelius called, Clara, come and make your chrysalis. Don't encourage her, mocked Katisha. She's only going to become a common cabbage butterfly. Why is Katisha being catty, Clara asked. Katisha is conceited, comforted Cornelius. She knows she'll become an attractive crimson colored butterfly. Crimson is like a white red, just like she is now. So she thinks that because she's bright and colorful, that makes her better than everybody else. Then Clara, Cornelius, and the other caterpillars caught onto the cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower plants with cottony threads. They crinkled and discarded their skins and cuddled down inside their chrysalises. Look, they hang there and then they start to make a little case. It's called a chrysalis, like a cocoon. And they wrap it around themselves. I'm crushed in here. I'm creased. I'm crumpled. I hate being cooped up. I'm cramped. I'm coiled like a corkscrew. My back tickles. It's making me cranky. I can't scratch. I can't cope, complained Katisha. Look, that's her complaining the whole time. So that's, look, it starts off green and then you can start to see it change colors. You start to see in there. cried Cornelius to Clara. Are you comfortable? Actually, I'm very cozy, Clara called back. Oh, 
of those must be Clara and one is Cornelius. And look, there's a bunny. See, they're very small compared to the bunny. And one morning, the chrysalises began to crack and out climbed the delicate creatures. Cool, cried Clara. You all look captivating. Cornelius, you're a terrific copper color. Copper is like a penny, that bright shiny. Why is that scruffy creature conversing with us, complained a scowling crimson colored butterfly. Katisha, Clara said, you are spectacular. Of course, replied Katisha, and you, Clara, are so cream. I think cream is cute, declared Cornelius. Cute, Katisha snickered. Don't be ridiculous, Cornelius. But there's Cornelius, he's kind of coppery, which is that like brown red. There's Clara, she's cream. He's crimson, bright red, beautiful. Wow. Then Katisha climbed toward the clouds on her scaly cobweb whims. Suddenly a crow caught and scared everybody. Snack time, he exclaimed as he caught sight of the crimson colored Katisha. The butterflies panicked and frantically scattered in all directions. Oh, look, she's so bright and colorful. I never saw her. And sometimes birds do eat butterflies. You can't escape, screeched the crow to Katisha. Katisha, I'm coming to the rescue, cried Clara. Clara, be careful, screamed Cornelius. Plucking up her courage, Clara flicked her wings at the crow. Catch me if you can, you scalawag, she taunted. Then Clara curved down and ducked into a camellia bush. Oh, look, there's Katisha and Cornelius. And there's Clara. She's trying to distract him so he doesn't eat her friends. The crow became confused and forgot about Katisha. He cocked his head and pecked in the petals. But Clara, the cream-colored butterfly, lay camouflaged behind a curtain of cream-colored camellias. That's curious, complained the crestfallen crow. I was confident I could capture a succulent snack. But he got distracted and tried to go after Clara, and she hid as she camouflaged herself in these flowers. Can you see her? There she is. But the crow can't find her because she blends in. She's the same color. The coast is clear, Cornelius shouted. The crisis is over. Congratulations, Clara, complimented the other butterflies. Clara, you're so clever, cried the shocked Katisha. I could never camouflage myself like you. I'm too colorful. I was crazy to scoff at your cream color. It's incredible. And cute, too, declared Cornelius. So Clara saved the day, even though she's not a bright color like everybody else. She still was important. Cornelius clapped his wings. Listen carefully, he commanded. That crow is a scoundrel. Let's cling close to Clara. Clara can stop him from catching us. Clara is so capable and courageous. Clara is lucky to be cream colored, said Katisha. Look. Look at all these beautiful colors. Although Katisha changed her mind now, she thinks that it's lucky that Clara is cream colored because she can protect them. And I'm a completely contented butterfly, said Clara. And so even though she wasn't bright and colorful like everybody else, she still was special and she's happy with the way she is. Did you hear a lot of those words that start with C? There were a lot of them. I liked reading to you. I'll see you later.